Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to take a moment to chat about the power of prayer and seeking guidance from a higher power. We all face challenges and decisions every day, and sometimes a little wisdom goes a long way. Throughout this video, you'll be sharing a prayer that embraces some beautiful verses from the Bible. So let's dive right into it. Before we get started, let's settle in for a quick opening prayer. If you're comfortable, I invite you to join me. Heavenly Father, as we come together today, we're seeking your presence. We ask for guidance, strength, and clarity as we navigate our lives. May this time together bring us wisdom and peace. In your name we pray, amen. Now I know that prayer is such a personal experience and each of us connects in our own way. So take a moment to think about what you're seeking right now. Let's keep that in our hearts as we move forward. Have you ever faced a situation where you just felt stuck? Maybe it's a tough decision at work, a relationship choice, or even something simple like what to do with your weekend. That's where seeking divine wisdom comes into play. James 1 verse 5 tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. Isn't that comforting? It's like having a wise friend who's always there for you. I remember a time when I was unsure about a big life choice, and I just paused, prayed, and asked for clarity. Those moments of stillness and reflection are so powerful. So I encourage you to lean into that, whether it's through prayer, meditation, or just taking a quiet moment for yourself, asking for clarity can really help you see things in a new light. Now let's talk about Psalm 119, verse 105, which says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This is such a beautiful reminder that God's word can guide us in our everyday lives. Imagine walking down a dimly lit path. Without a light, you might stumble or stray off course. But with that light, you can see where you're going and make better choices. When we immerse ourselves in scripture, we allow those teachings to illuminate our decisions and relationships. It's about recognizing that there's wisdom in those ancient words that can be applied to modern day life. I found that when I take time, take time to read and reflect, I'm better equipped to handle whatever comes my way. So ask yourself, how can you allow that light to shine in your own life today? Maybe you read a verse that sticks with you and helps clarify a situation. Let's be real for a minute. We all face challenges, right? Life can throw curveballs that can leave us feeling fearful or anxious. But this is where Isaiah 41.10 comes into play. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is like a warm hug from God when you're feeling down. There have been times when I felt overwhelmed, but remembering that I'm not alone gives me so much strength. Courage doesn't mean we're never afraid. It means pushing through despite that fear. So if you're facing something tough today, remember that it's okay to lean on your faith. Trust that you're being supported in ways you might not even see right now. Now let's pause for a moment to pray for our loved ones. Heavenly Father, I ask that you guide, protect, deliver, bless, and provide for all my family and friends. May they feel your love and presence in their lives. Help them find clarity, strength, and comfort in their daily challenges. Thank you for being with us. Amen. If you have friends or family who need a little extra support, take a moment to think of their names and lift them in prayer. It really creates a sense of unity and love among us. Thank you for taking this time to connect with me and reflect on prayer and seeking guidance today. It's a beautiful reminder of how we can lean on faith and community. I truly appreciate each one of you for being a part of this journey. Your comments and insights mean a lot. As we wrap up, remember to keep seeking that guidance. The more we turn to God, the more we can feel that strength and clarity in our daily lives. Thanking him for all the answered prayers helps us stay grounded in gratitude. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need a little encouragement today. Subscribe for more content like this, and let's continue to grow together in faith. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What's your favorite scripture for guidance? Let's chat about it. Until next time, take care and stay blessed.